Hello there my dear friends, welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now today we got some of what is considered a serious delicacy. This is some absolutely beautiful fallow deer liver, basically venison liver. So what I want to do then, I'm going to show you how to pan fry a slice real quick, real simple, the best way to have it. And then what I want to do is make what is my take on a Tuscan dish called crostini e fegatini, which is basically croutons with liver. So basically what we'll do is we'll pan fry a slice, we'll hand mince it, we will add a bit of white wine vinegar, some parsley, toast a bit of bread, get it on there. So it's like a really posh, I suppose, pate on toast. Now that dish, this crostini fegatini, yeah, all my Italian friends, how good am I? Uh, you know, it's a dish for peasants. It's a dish for ladies and lords. It is also a traditional starter at Christmas. So if you're feeling kind of frisky, you may want to give it a go. If not, give it a go anyway. So what I'm going to do very quickly is I want to just dredge these lovely slices of liver and a bit of seasoned flour. So some flour, put some pepper in, get my salt. Some salt in there, give it a the old. So I'm just gonna do one slice first. I'm gonna show you the real simple pan fry. Oh, I suppose we better get the other one done. One of my playing that boy. And then we'll go over to the stove. So there you go. Some nice seasoned dredged flour. Nice and simple. Just sure well, that's nicely coated. Clang. We we'll go over to the cooker. So just getting some heat under my pan, I'm going to drop in some butter. Now you know liver, if you've ever had overcooked liver, it is like the most foulest thing ever. And with this being a special product, we just want to almost just show it the pan. Want it to have a nice caramelization on the outside and nice and pink in the middle. So drop some butter in. We'll just wait for that to foam go brown, go nutty, shouldn't take very long. I'll be honest, that's quite a fierce burner underneath. But you get the better view in the front. So yeah, just wait for that to turn slightly brown. So this liver then I took out of the fridge about an hour before I'm cooking it, just like steak, bringing up to room temperature. That's starting to change color now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay that in. So that has been just under a minute on that side. Just going to turn it over. There's that lovely caramelization we're looking for. Nice crust. And then we'll carry on cooking it for about 45 seconds a minute. We'll get it out, we'll rest it, and we'll take a sneaky peek. So, I'm going to take that off. As you can see, that's smoking hot. And we've got our lovely cooked venison liver. Just let that rest. So, it's imperative that this is pink in the middle got to be pink, else it's no good. So as you can see then, perfectly cooked, crisp on the outside, nice and pink in the middle. Easy way to eat it. Just smear a bit of mustard on and away you go. But I want to take it that little step further and get on and cook that crostini or crouton 
Either, either, baby. So for this one then, we're going to follow the same procedure as we did pan fry and that, but we will pan mince it after on a nice piece of bread. This is what you call a very pretentious loaf. It's got walnuts in. Why I got it, I don't know. Or wrap it. Yes, it has. Oh dear, dear, dear. Anyway, cut ourselves a couple of nice slices. I mean, if you could have this at Christmas, you eat walnuts at Christmas. It's a win-win. So, a couple of them, which we'll pan fry. I'm just gonna chop up a bit of parsley. Then we'll get over to the stove and get on it, baby. So same principle as before. Get our liver in, and I'm also gonna put my croutons in. Give it 45 seconds a minute. Nice and quick. Try not to burn the toast. I'm going to get my liver out. We'll work on that. So no mucking about then. I want to hand mince this liver. I'm trying to keep my eye on the bread at the same time. So nice and pink as before. And just... A bit one of them. So it wants to be chunky, it wants to be quite thick. We're not looking for a patty, we're looking for a bit of bite, a bit of texture. Wonderful. Have a look at that for a bowl. So when we go with that, oh, a bit escaped. Drop in a dash of white wine vinegar that'll just cut through the richness then we're going to put some fresh parsley in just like that and then optional is just a little bit of double cream we want it nice and thick Get some pepper in there. Get some salt in there. So roughly based on that Italian dish, we are relying more on the flavour of the venison than anything else. You know, they normally have garlic, shallots, some herbs, some spices. But we are keeping it real. Okay then, one lovely piece of fried bread, crostini, crouton, whatever you want to call it. Then we'll spoon on our liver mixture. So remember this bread's been fried in that butter. Put that down there. Get this on here, load it on. So like I said, traditionally eaten as a starter at Christmas. Look at that little bastard in there, look. Get on there. Put a little bit more on. On here. And on there. a little bit more fresh parsley just like that and there you have it my venison liver crostini okay so I put it on a darker plate so it really picks up the color of the venison Let's cut a little bit off so we got that white wine vinegar that beautiful fallow deer liver some cream, some salt and pepper, fresh parsley, get on there. Have a bit of Coleman's, because you know you've got to, and... Well, my friends, I want to sit down and finish that properly. 
But there it is. Isn't it wonderful? And obviously that liver, it's got to be as fresh as possible. And you don't want it from a rutted stag, anything like that. Just a beautiful, fresh liver from any deer. I suppose in the US you'll have your white tails, but here in the UK we're blessed with many different species and different seasons. But yeah, this is a great way to prepare it. Anyway, if you like what you're seeing here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Also check me out on my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Scott Reed Project. And if you want to share the love, please do check out my Patreon page. But until next time, my friends, we're going to be cooking some more turkey. Take care of yourselves. All the best. I just want to look at that.